Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today we have got one system from the user Nick118 in Discord who has uh, sent their system in here called the MEO system. So a massive thank you to them for sending this in and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and check out what they've prepared for us here. So here it is, it should be here, yep. Okay, right what have we got? Ooh, taking some time to load, okay right. Welcome to the MEO system, a system with many planets to check out along with moons. Attention, the system may lag lower PCs due to rings. Um, it's advanced to have a strong PC to handle this, so that's no problem here. Um, the system's planets are all made by me, and everything is completely original. Cool. Okay, so there's no description, so it's just us to explore then. Right, so, the star itself, as we can see, a little smaller than the sun. For most stats, I mean, look, yeah, mass, radius, luminosity, so yeah, slightly less powerful than the sun. First of the planets... So here we have Emors over here. Hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, Emors. So yeah, very, very uh, yellow hot in temperature. We'll see quite close. That's dangerously close to the star. I mean, if we look at the, yeah, it's inside the red zone. So yeah, not uh, not good. <laughs> right. Next up, we've got Emos over here. Okay. So as we can see, very orangey. Almost like Marsy, Venusy looking colour uh, combined. That's what it looks like underneath. So it has got uh, has got oceans, got an orange ocean. So it's at 318 degrees though. If we look at the grid here, yeah, so it's constantly at 300 odd degrees. A very, very hot world there. Okay. Moving on. We got a vest over here. Look how big this is as well. Oh, that's crazy. Right, so here it is. So a nice uh, earth light world as we can see here let's check its stats out why not pretty good stats there 93 and 60 yeah nice uh, nice good old earth light look alike there and then on to the moons looks like we just have a minor moon there also city lights if you see carefully so we'll do the moons like we normally do in these so make this a little bigger so you can see it so there they are all the moons this one's got um, a little more features to check out it's got some clouds going on there okay Nice. So there's that one. Then the next two are minor moons. Why are we all over here now? Oi. There we go. So there's the other two moons over here. So they're just asteroids. Okay. Next up, we've got Emmerst. So here it is with another uh, Earth light world. Uh, so you've got oceans on it. 98, but no likelihood on it. Right. So it's minus 81 degrees. Very, very cold there. Also has a moon with some really exotic colours. Oh wow. Very nice. Okay. Oh, very exotic colours. Oh yeah, I do like that. Right. There's also a lot of ring particles here, so I'm guessing we have some sort of asteroid belt here. Yes, okay, so there's an asteroid belt. Alright. Okay, moving on to the first of I'm assuming a gas giant. Yeah, oh my god. Whoa! Someone went spam clicking moons. That is a lot of moons. I'm guessing they're all asteroids, aren't they? Captured asteroids and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, we don't need to check out every single one of these because they're all basically the same thing. <laughs> so, wow. That's a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff. So, going to the juicy planet itself in the middle here. So, turn that off. So, pretty large. Double mass Jupiter. 1.3 radius Jupiter. Really big. So, there it is there. But it's got a lot and I mean a lot of moons you can see them all those ring particles got a few uh, more distinctive moons we've got Onus here so you can see straight away definitely uh, more features here than there is on the other smaller moons so there we go that's what it looks like underneath okay next up we have got Ato Ato over here another moon just looks like a normal rock and then I think there's one more significant moon here, Tuster. So, very exotic colours on this one here. Okay. I think that's all of the major moons. Oh, there'll be one more over here, One. No, that's just an asteroid. All right. But yeah, a lot of asteroid moons. And that's a crazy set. Okay, next up we've got another, another planet here. Okay, so... Whoa, that is a huge sister planet. What is that? It's a double binary, surely. I mean, they are 0.8 Jupiters and 
0.08. Okay, so yeah, they they must be in a very close binary. 0.7, two Jupiters, sorry. Looks like my good old planet nine there. Hey, nice. Um, okay. Yes, that's a dual binary system. So let's just let it move. So the uh, just watch it all move because yeah, right now it's blocking the light on the planet. So let's just let it come round. But yeah, look how slow this simulation runs. I mean, that's a lot of moons. Oh my god. Oh, you can see some of the moons are already getting upset by having two gas giant parents. There we go. Let's just pause it there. So, there we go. So now it's in the sunlight. So you've got both planets. That is a crazy binary, though. That is unreal how those have ended up together like that. Uh, and then onto the moons. Here they are. Nice. Okay. So there's all those, and also just more asteroid moons at the end. Okay, moving on. So you've got a Uranus looking like planet here. And also the moons here. Alrighty. So, pretty, pretty normal looking moons. Again, this one's got a thicker atmosphere. Pretty exotic colours underneath as well. Another one with an atmosphere. Okay. So uh, all of those guys. Right, moving on. So we got this one over here. Neteras. So this is a uh, see very deep Neptune blue looking colour. Very cold here. Very, very dark as well. So again, just lots of bog standard moons really. Uh, there they all are, okay. So still a pretty decent set of moons, actually. Right, now, into the further out depths, we've got another planet out here. We've got a big set of rings itself. It's all alone, completely dark, nothing there. So there we are. I think that does it for this system. Yeah, that seems to be everything. Nothing further out. No, okay. So there's our full lineup. So pretty cool. Let's get them all there. There they are there. Get rid of all the particles. So there's our lineup. So you've got the two binary gas giants here. So the more creamy coloured one, and then this planet nine coloured one. Then you got two sort of Neptune blue ones, and then you got one sort of Uranus light pale blue as well. Nice. And then onto the Rockies. Yeah, quite a lot of those in there as well. And look how many minor objects. Look at all these. <laughs> There's so many of them. So out of all the major moons, that's really it. So yeah, pretty wild stuff. But yeah, there we go. So that does it for this system. So yeah, really hope you enjoyed it. One, uh, this one, guys. And yeah, if you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. And yeah, massive again. Thank you to Nick118 for sending this simulation in. So that was the MEO system. So again, massive thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, guys, make sure you stay safe out there. Subscribe for new as well. Subscribe for more videos. I should say. Oh, God, I'm so bad at doing outros sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and yeah, stay up to date with all of the uh, videos I will release. As um, yeah, we've got some pretty cool stuff coming up for the end of the year, so yeah, stay tuned for that. But again, guys, with that all said and done, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.